Hi, this is François Proté, and this is a short presentation of the paper called the Free Maps in 50 Lines of Code. The goal of our paper is to compute maps. Maps are a very important tool in computer graphics to do things such as type correspondence, texturing, or even remeshing. When constructing maps, we look for two main properties ejectivity and control of the distortion. In our paper, we bring a solution to construct maps that are bijective with still a nice control of the distortion. To compute such maps, the recent trend is to use a mix of two energies. The first one, which is a shape distortion energy, and the second one, which is an area distortion energy. The combination of the two gives an energy which is well posed because it is polyconvex, and it comes from hyperelasticity theory. Moreover, the use of the lambda in the energy makes it possible to have different behaviors. For example, we can have an energy which is quasi-conformal or quasi-area preserving or even quasi-isometric. We can see that those two energy depend on the determinant of the mapping. To prevent any advancing, we put the energy as infinite if the determinant is negative. As a notation, we replace the determinant with max of zero and the determinant. But while this is a very good energy to optimize if we have a good initialization with a positive determinant, we might not be able to get such a mapping at the beginning. To avoid this issue, there were still some works, but most of the time it was about some tricks on simplices or uh, to build a very difficult energy to optimize. What we propose in our paper is an energy that is defined continuously, that is directly working with the previous energy that, that is very good, and finally, that is way more robust. To obtain such results, the idea is to use a clever regularization, and with it, we bring a lot of very good theoretical guarantees. The idea behind the regularization is to take the problematic max and to replace it with a function less problematic, and this function, he, depends on an epsilon, and when this epsilon goes to zero, our function is going to go to the max of d and zero. So we build a new energy, E epsilon, that is going to converge to the energy E when an epsilon is going to converge to zero. To build a valid mapping, the process is very straightforward. We construct a sequence of epsilon, which is decreasing, and we slowly optimize the energy until we obtain a valid mapping. In the paper, we provide an epsilon which gives theoretical guarantees that we are going to converge to a nice solution. Moreover, we provide an implementation using LBFGS which is available on GitHub at the following link. In the paper, we propose a lot of ways to test this method. The simplest is to take a mesh and to invert two points. Our algorithm is able to untangle this mesh without any trouble. A more challenging case is the use of the database provided by Do et al. It is more than 10,000 meshes, both 2D and 3D, and our code is able to untangle all the challenges without any trouble. In average, it will take only some seconds to untangle, but on some cases, very stiff, it can take several minutes. Finally, to compare ourselves to the total lifted content of Do et al, which is currently the state of the art, we can see that our approach is invariant on the initialization, has a very good control of distortion, and is more robust to very bad initialization. Of course, this was only a short presentation of the paper, and I forward you to the longer video if you are interested. And I thank you for your attention, and I'm available if there's any question.